It's Cloudy 13 today. Welcome to part two, or just the second part. I don't. I just repeat the same thing. Um, of deadline day. It's actually an advert at the moment. Uh, but I've have heard on my Instagram. If you didn't check it, David Louise and Inkudu have both joined Tot Tottenham and Chelsea. So there are two new signings added to the list. Transfers. But. I'm looking for Brighton to sign another player. The last player they signed was Pocanioli from Pocanioli from uh, West Brom, a left back. Back up for Bong, or better than Bong. Not sure. The next question is: Do you think Marcus Rashford is better than Anthony Martial? If not, what do you think? Sorry if the video gets copyrighted. That's another thing. But Mum's just come back. back. We've we've got rice cr multi grain trays. Callum. We've got multi grain trays. We've got some new breakfast. Mum's just come back with the shopping. Check her channel out. Actually, down in the description. We've got my face. We've got Nesquik. And we got banana chips. Did you buy any juice? Yeah. Got some of these. We got some for ours. We got some. No. If Brighton do sign another player, I want another striker. Because Glen Murray is terrible at the weekend. So is Bordeaux. Because he got sent off. So. Baby belts. Mark, I'm just looking at Marcus Alonso's stats for Fiorentina and Sunderland a few years ago. They're very good. But, um, they're talking about Wilshire again. I think he probably is medicals nearly done, and also Slimani's card will be out after this video. This video will go will come out at twenty past seven. Just got my Wacker crisps. Looks like Jack Wilshere has officially signed Mount or Mount or Fiji or Oriental. Well, don't be silly. Can somebody tell me why they have? Like, have you got ones that are split? No. no. Um, can somebody tell me where they got like rugby and golf adverts during deadline day? Can somebody put that through my head? It doesn't work. Only, only less than four hours to go until deadline day does finish. It's actually currently on 3:59 and about 20 seconds left. So it's mental, mental chicken or anything. Bear in mind, some deals do manage to go through just a bit over the time of the deadline day finishing. So that is something that you will see. Is Jack will see it done. Yeah, lots of excitement in and around the Vitality Stadium. Jack Wilshire arrived around 6.15 today after the new group initially last night, but almost one or five clubs that were in for the afternoon period. Of course, it's a season-long loan deal. After walking to get first... Oh, God, bloody Bournemouth on a loan deal. Jack Wilshire is gone. Is it bloody, bloody Bournemouth? Mental. This is just crazy. West Ham also probably going to sign Alvaro Arbeloa, very good player when he was at Liverpool. Interesting to see whether he will. He's only on a one-year deal though. Right, more on Moussa Sissoko. He's a good player. I don't think he should really um, join Chelsea. They just signed a new player. Mm, I don't. I think that a player like Moussa Sissoko definitely should move. Definitely, he's not a championship player. But bloody Rakus, Chelsea. Chelsea don't need him. Chelsea sign all these players that they don't even need. If they do sign him, whether he will play or not, it's probably not going to happen. But. Brighton have rejected a sixth bid from Burnley for Dale Stevens, which I'm happy about. I want to keep Dale Stevens. They're at Man City. Oh yeah, Nasri and Mangala have gone from City. 
Uh, I know that. Um, uh, Mangala went to Valencia and oh, he went as well. Nasri's gone to Sevilla. So there's some decent signings for them teams, but I would say Navas getting the better deal. And I don't really think Mangala's that good. Like everybody else thinks he's not that good. Leicester City. <laughs> Yes, Limani. I'll be doing that after this video. Um, don't forget to check that out at C4Lalbian13. Uh, this this video is going to be edit, um, edited very well because I've not talked about anything for a long time now. But um, Slomani is actually very good according to most uh, reliable sources, BBC Sports, uh, Sky Sports, ESPN. So he's like a very good player with his height and also got good dribbling for, for about 6.5 tall player. But for those who don't know Samoa Jan, he's joined Al Ali in... Um, I'm not sure what country it is actually. Yeah, he's joined him, and I wanted him to join Reading um, because I would like him to see back in FIFA, but obviously not. Right, this one might be a bit shorter than it should be because nothing's really happened in this last bit. It's just really been talking. No deals have gone through, but something might happen. So, and it's also sounding like Liverpool won't get any players. I mean, I really want to just get rid of Alberto Moreno. Any Liverpool fan that likes Alberto Moreno, sort your life out. Sort. If he was a left wing, brilliant, brilliant, happy as. But if he is a bro, he's not a left back. He doesn't get back when he goes. When he goes forward, he never gets back. He just stays in that position. Anyone agree with me? I know lots of you will. But hopefully we can bring in a left back. I know we've put in an 11 million bid for Borussia Dortmund's Pulisic, Pulisic, or however you say it. If we get him, that's a good signing. They're finally at Liverpool. Good evening to Alan. So fans have been searching for the latest Liverpool news. What can you tell them? Well, those fans must have been searching for the latest Liverpool news on who is leaving the football club. Because oh. certainly no incomings here. Oh, OK. At Liverpool's training complex, Melwood, uh, Jurgen Klopp, insisting that all his uh, dealings were done as far as incomings uh, well before transfer deadline day. Six signings, of course, arriving. Before Ethan Banks, Ethan, really got underway. Ethan Banks, so as far as, uh, he goes the out the from Wolves and he comes back in. He goes out from Wolves and he comes back in. The, uh, Serbian international Lazar Markovic club for 20 million pounds from Benfica, Benfica a couple of years ago. Now he hasn't been able to settle, he was out on loan at Fenerbahce, he hasn't been able to command a first team place. Now Liverpool would have sold him um, if the right deal had come along, and they would still do that with a club such as Sporting Lisbon, who are now going to take Lazar Markovic on loan. Um, he's prepared Sporting to Lisbon. Loan deal because he still believes he can fight for his future at Liverpool. So expect that deal to be concluded uh, sometime before uh, deadline closes at 11 o'clock. He's out in Belgrade at the moment with the Serbian national squad. He's had a change of heart and will go on loan. A couple of deals that have been completed, we told you about earlier. Uh, Andre Wisdom has gone out on loan. Yes. Again. Uh, to uh, Red Bull Salzburg in Austria, he's also had loans at Derby, West Brom and Norwich, and also the deal for Luis Alberto, uh, completed earlier today, he's gone to Lazio. Yes, he's finally he gone, he was a complete waste of money. As well. We're still waiting for confirmation of Mario Balotelli's departure from Liverpool. Um, medical has been completed down on the south coast of France with Nice, but we're still waiting for terms to be agreed, so that is still in the offing. And finally, uh, Mamadou Sacco has been the subject of uh, much debate, maybe from Liverpool fans, over the course of the last um, few days, really. He's determined to stay and fight for his place, despite the fact that Jür Jürgen Klopp says he won't play first-team football within this season, so he's not going out on loan, as I understand it. Well, that Liverpool news is pretty worthless. All I really wanted to know if we bring in any more players. Turned out we're not.
in a limo. We've had the shadowy scenes of Jimmy Carl Bergdorf back in 2008. We had Millennia arrive as the first signing after the Thrax Ferguson era. And of course, the battle to keep David De Gea at Manchester United. So I think that was feeding a desperation event about Manchester United fans. To find totally out the rubbish news. Yeah, Nothing sure. happening, yeah, literally, in this transfer win. window. Hopefully <laughs> something will happen, because nothing happened. Anyway, this video needs to end now, so um, I'll probably be making Slimani um, now, and maybe a few, I probably will start making a lot, 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 lot more. So part three will be out a bit later. So please like this video, subscribe to Cloud for and 13. Don't forget to check out the last one of these. And don't forget to be aware of my Instagram that all photos will be announced. And the Young Son and Joe Squad is out. Peace.